From the 2013 International CES in Las Vegas, this is another Into Tomorrow ITTV special report. Hi, my name is Ryan Moore from HZO, and we are the creators of WaterBlock, a water protection coating that goes on the inside of electronic devices to protect it from water and other liquid damage. And how does that work? How do you, uh, how do you add this protective coating to it? Well, it's a manufacturing process where we actually put partially assembled phones into our, into our proprietary machine, and it puts a thin coating around the electronics, almost creates like a seal or a case within your phone to, to keep away all the harmful effects of, of water and other liquids. So you're basically like smoking it in a way, like putting it in a gas chamber to uh, put a light coat over it? Yeah, so it's a thin coat that actually, it's, it's a thin, but um, it's a coating that it basically it creates a barrier between the electronic device and the water. So, so the electronics that normally be affected by water um, are protective because of that thin barrier. You don't even know it's there until you need it. Now what about the uh, connectors, like the uh, connectors for your microphone or headset? Those are open slots and the, uh, the voice volume control, does it protect those too? Yeah, I mean, that, that's kind of the unique thing about our phone, about our technology is normally when you think of water protection, you think of big bulky mechanical seals keeping water out of the device, but we can actually let water inside. Some of our devices, you can even take the back off of them and you can see water goes in, no problem, because all the important circuitry is protected with this coating. So, how long does this protective coating last on it? Does it wear off after a while? Based on our research, we haven't really seen much, if any, sort of uh, deterioration. It, it will last the duration of the device. Now here you have several devices, uh, so this is not limited to just a phone. It's li you could put it on pad devices, readers, and what other electronics can you use? Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's the sky's the limit. I mean, electronic in the end is a, is, a, is an electronic. So we're working with uh, outdoor, military, healthcare, um, any of those things that, to, to kind of help. To, to change where people can use their electronics, kind of change that paradigm. I mean, you, you think about sitting by the pool, you get nervous, and that might not be a worry soon. Well, and what's the price on it? So right now we're just working with manufacturers, so it is the next devices you would buy would already have a built-in to your device. So for someone who's going to buy their next electronic device, their phone or pad, what do they look for to see if it's waterproof? Is there going to be a particular seal, like Intel says, you know, they have a seal saying Intel inside? Would, would you have something similar to that? That's a great question. Yeah, we would. We were actually working on um, the, the water block standard. Um, there, there's kind of a new world these days. Uh, mechanical seals um, have kind of run their course. I mean, with, with things like us, where we, we can kind of regulate um, the, those protective coatings. So water block standard is the thing to look for.